going on, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solana, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. From home, you might have noticed I'm definitely not in Studio B. I am coming at you from California. I'm doing my part to stay in quarantine. Okay, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house, boy. Boy, bored in the house and I'm in the house, boy. Boy, bored in the house, bored in the house, boy. Boy, bored in the house, bored in the house, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Not getting much better. Let's see what one of our cubes is doing in quarantine. Let me grab my laptop. I know, just the guy to call. All right. We've got go. Bracken El Bakery with us. Let's go. How you doing, Bracken? What's up, guys? Doing well, doing well, very well. Um, this is a crazy time. Spring's kind of wild right now. I mean, coronavirus has taken over. Things for you have been busy. First of all, heard you got married. Congrats. A couple days ago, got married. Awesome. Uh, spring ball canceled. More of a bummer there. How have you kind of been dealing with that? Yeah, it was pretty unfortunate. Um, I feel like the whole team was kind of taken off guard, pretty sad about it. I don't know, we've just been, we, we're dealing with it. Hopefully we'll get some more practices back for the summertime, we can pad up. Really it's just about getting practice in pads is kind of what we're looking for and kind of what we need. So my guess is the, the NCAA will be kind to us and give us some extra days. Yeah, that, would, that would be good, that'd be nice. How excited are you to get back to football? Super excited, super excited. You can see it's just kind of like, yeah. we got JJ Watt right there. <laughs> It's, it's kind of, when it becomes your life, it's super weird when you don't have it. And even when I was on my honeymoon, we were up in Wyoming and it was kind of like, I've got to work out. And we're like, why? We're on our honeymoon. I'm like, I don't know. My body has to work out. You've been doing those at-home workouts, trying to get ready a little bit. For yeah, I've got some, home. I've got some tractor tires around, around here to flip and other things to push and pull. Sometimes I just push the truck around and around the neighborhood, so. <laughs> That's awesome. So you, do, you have some fun stuff there. Quarantine can be pretty boring, but I hear you've got some good stuff to keep you busy. Can you show us that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, this is my house. This is my backyard. And these, if you can see them, we'll walk down there, are my chickens. You do this all the time. You, you always have your chickens there. Every day. Every day I've always had my chickens. So you take a little of these grub worms, you kind of shake it for them. They get all excited. Oh yeah, start running. One, we're missing one of them. I usually have some more, but they must be laying eggs right now. Oh, wow. So hopefully we can collect some eggs together, too. Do you see them pretty well? Oh, yeah, for sure. They look great. They are. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Award-winning, probably, maybe. Who knows? Award-winning, probably. <laughs> so I walk out here in the mornings, check for some eggs. We just kind of, kind of go like this. And we got one in there. Perfect. Ooh. Talking about. They like to hide them from me in the yard too, so I gotta go on a scavenger hunt every once in a while. The hunt is on. The hunt is on. What's the I'm hardest part there. about having chickens? The hardest, well, the reason we got the chickens is because we have a box elder bug problem. So they eat all of the box elder bugs that tear up our yard, so that's the best part about having chickens. Okay. The hardest part are these little babies right here. Oh, they're so cute. They're so little. And know. Um, the gold, that gold one's a buff Orpington and it's enormous. Oh, that's sweet. Aren't they so cute? Yes, of course. Oh, they're way cute. What makes them, um, what makes them harder? They're just, they're, they, you have to clean their cage all the time. You have to have like a heat lamp on them and stuff. Wow. My big problem plan on her really coming through for me with some eggs. Every day I collect the chicken's eggs, I feed the hens, and I feed and water the babies. This is my forge, by the way. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I could light that baby and do some metal work if you want me to. 85 pound anvil. So a very important piece of the fire keeping it hot is you gotta have air. Okay, so to heat the forge, we just use regular old hardwood, lump charcoal, and to light it, we just use regular old gas. Matches here. Oh yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is where I blow my eyes off again. <laughs> Let's not blow your eyes off. <laughs> Woo! So once as the fire's heating up, we just use like scrap metal. How often do you do this? Uh, how many 
it just depends. It's kind of a fun thing for me. I do it about maybe every day or every other day or something just to kind of practice. So a lot. Fun. You're oh, yeah, pro? I definitely am not pro, but I've made several swords. Well, machetes and different things. So you've made swords and machetes just because you can? Well, they're not very good, if I'm being honest. I just got started a couple months ago, so it takes it takes a lot of practice to get good, you know? Fire's kind of dying down a little bit, and now it's just starting to heat up. As those things turn white, it gets hot. So we just stick our metal in. Oh my gosh. Then you just keep sticking it back in the fire, reheat it, bring it back out, work it some more. That's kind of how it's done. Yeah, no, that's so awesome. Yeah, so you got you got a lot of fun stuff to keep you busy. Oh yeah, this is the As best part, by the way. Which is the best part? Oh. Oh, that is cool. Isn't that cool? Well, there you have it. That's what I've been doing this. Been working out, flipping tires. Hammering metal and feeding chickens. Wow, what, what would you recommend maybe to Cougar Nation who, who you know, can't uh, make metal, flip tires, feed some chickens? <laughs> um, just find something to do, find something you love. I love taking care of animals and raising animals and just take care of yourselves and find your hobbies and just enjoy yourself. That's awesome, I love that Bracken. Good stuff, that's all we got from BYSN right now. Should I have you close out this episode? Say goodbye to the people? See y'all. Peace out. Bye. Be well, you nation. That was fun. That was awesome.